Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. It's the time of the year. It's 21st March, first day of spring. So you know what's up, we're planting the seeds, not just these seeds, but also planting seeds with intention, intentionally putting out what we want in this world because you know spring is the season for springing. Everything starts to come to life. It's a season for planting seeds and it's not only seeds, but generally being intentional with your plans, your goals and all them things. Them. So. I have some old soil in here. I do have new soil, but I like to use my old soil as well. What did this have? I don't know. I honestly don't know what was in here. Oh. I have avocado seeds, a lot of them by the way. That's not it. Oh, did it just break in half? Anyway, I do have, where are they? A shitload of avocado seeds. I'm not going to plant these today. They're also dry and there's so much you can do with dried avocado seeds. I will leave a link to a video up here. Definitely check it out. You can make avocado powder and so much more. Today I'm only going to plant, okay, this one is not dry yet, but today I'm only going to plant some bell peppers and cherry tomatoes because I did this last year. I don't know if you remember, but I did plant some seeds last year and out of all the seeds that I planted, only the cherry tomatoes and the red bell peppers grew. So that's what I'm going to plant. I'm going to stick to these two. And yeah, it just feels good eating organic food. For some reason, I feel like I was wearing this same top last year. But anyway, let's plant these seeds. Like I told you, I'm using old soil, so I'm just going to crush it. It's very dry. Ugh. Crush it, and then I'm going to put it in these little cups. So for these little cups, what I did is get the little planters that I had. Because the black thing was too big by my window, this black thing. <laughs> this one, and I'm not planting that many seeds today. So I'm just going to plant, actually maybe I should do four of these, four cups of these. And just do two red bell peppers and two tomatoes. Yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. Why I'm doing this is that if I put water, it just drains down here in these little cups or if i don't want to water them every day i can just fill this with water and the soil can just you know get what it needs let me get some more of these cups i don't know if i have any more plastic cups but we'll find out in just a bit what i'm going to do is just ooh, this is a very messy process i should have put this in the sink i'm just putting this very dry soil in here don't worry, I'm going to wet it. I need another cup. Another plastic cup. But I know <laughs> it's all the way up there and I'm not going... You know what, Sheila? Let's do it one time. One time. Of course, you know I'm vertically challenged. I need to bring my little squatty party to the rescue. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god, I have cups. Thank you, Lord. Alright, I found a cup. Now the task is going to be putting back these gloves. Wow. Did you just oh my god, I hope it's not on my lips. So I'm just going to spray some water in these. Bring you guys closer. Closer. Na 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 na. Uh, uh. Oh, I'm sure I didn't know even what I was singing. Wow. just very light showers the soil is so dry that it's just going through the little holes at the bottom oh damn i forgot to cut the cherry tomatoes before getting started with these i will probably eat <laughs> some of them i just need four so i'm going to just do these seeds that i've been keeping on the side i do have way more seeds than this but yeah we'll use these ones this is very easy to do let me show you. So I'm just going to break these. They should ideally just fall because they're dry. Not all of them are going to grow, so I'm just putting them all in. You know what's interesting? The fact that I have so many knives, but always reach out for this dollar store one. 
So for the tomatoes, you just cut it into half. Oh, I got more than I needed and just put them. I'm going to show you. Face them like that. As you can see, like I was saying earlier, the soil was so dry. It was, look at it. So I had to give it some little water. Also, of course, it's the time for my... I dried, I already dried some bananas because, oh yeah, I think I'm going to use them today. They are good fertilizers for the soil, whatever they call it, fertilizers or, I don't know, plant food, very good plant food. Keep in mind I live in an apartment and uh, we don't have enough plant growing space, so if you have like a, I don't know, a space, a farm or something, that would be great. I'm just crushing these like this with my fingers, I'm not putting them in my blender, ideally you could. I'm just crushing them. They're actually not even the perfect crush. Putting them on top of my seeds. And last but not least, I think I'm going to wet the soil straight up before putting it in here. It's much better. I don't know if it's much better. I assume it's much better. Yeah, because then it won't pass through the... Ooh, that's a lot of water. But you know what? The plants need water. And the soil needs moisture. I'll show you. It's holding together. I would bring the camera closer to show you this angle, but uh, as you can see, my hands are very... My hands are tied. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. We need to dig and see what's what. Okay, this is tomato. <laughs> I need to write on them, tomato, tomato. Because when they grow, how am I going to tell what's what? I mean, I can tell because I did this process last year and I kind of know what they look like, but ain't nobody got time to go back to, well, why not, Sheila? Why not, these are your babies now. I'm planting these seeds with so much intention and the intention I'm putting forward is of course to feed my body with health, give them love that way I would give myself love. And I'm also planting a seed in my financial life because as you guys know, if you've been watching all my video, my previous videos, I took the leap of faith to become a full-time content creator and I've been planting the seed of being consistent with content. If you follow me on my different social medias, you know that I've been uploading very consistently. On YouTube, I've been uploading one video a week. I need to bring it up to about two or three, but at least I've been consistent with one and I give you YouTube shorts. I've been consistent on TikTok and Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, uploading every day. And yeah, that's me planting the seeds in other aspects of life. There is one thing that I can't quite talk about here because it's a very personal thing. However, I'll share once it's done. I need to start planting the seed for that. But I've put out the intention. I'm still dealing with my fears with it. I just realized I do have a lot of fresh new soil, but I just wanted to use the old one because why not? It's not bad. And I took real good care of it it's just that because it was a little there i go again about to mix the colors it was a little dry but now that i wet it it's going to be good let me get a marker this is red bell so that's done now i can move them around because at first i'm like damn what's what and now i'm just going to clean up my space and finish working on my portfolio by the time this video comes out i've already shared with you how i did my ugc portfolio i'm going to be sharing with you where i'm getting the brands that i'm going to be pitching to and the websites that i use because like i said we don't get keep over here and i want to share the whole process with you so that if someone wants to do ugc they can at least learn from my videos yeah so let's uh, clean this up oh my god i left my white cloth in the sink hmm. she laughed Right, I'll see you on the UGC side.